Hi and welcome back to Mallorca. Well this week I thought we'd head north and have a look at one of the towns at the top of the island, Palenza. Palenza is the most northern town on the island, 57 kilometers north of Parma. Like so many towns in Mallorca, it is set inland from its port to try and deter the pirates attacking of yesteryear. Palenza has been described as the perfect Mallorcan town. Large enough not to be twee, but small enough to still walk around in the morning. If you're going to visit for the day, try and get there on a Sunday, as this is when the weekly market is on and the outdoor cafes fill after church with coffee drinkers and people watchers. Another popular spot for enjoying the outdoor cafe lifestyle and food is at the foot of the Via Crucis. The 365 steps lead straight from the plaza below to a small chapel at the summit. Another good vantage point to view the town is the Puy Maria, which is directly opposite the steps on the southern edge of town. Most people visit here rather than staying in the town itself, but there are a couple of nice hotels in Palenza. The Hotel Juan and La Hosta, for example, offer clean and comfortable accommodation. If you're planning on staying in the area, but not in Palenza itself, then your best option is to avoid the holiday hotel packages down at the port and head a little further south of the town to the beautiful and peaceful Son Brawl. This former monastery is only three kilometers from Palencia and sits at the foot of the mountains in a vineyard. Luxurious suites, a fantastic restaurant, and a spa await those who visit here. And even if you only make use of one of these facilities, Son Brule is well worth a visit. Certainly one of the jewels of the island. Most of the people staying in Palenza will end up staying down at the Port Palenza and end up spending most of their time by default at the beach there. If you have a car though, there's a far nicer beach in Formentora and the rocky coastline on the way to the bay is worth seeing in its own right. Palenza doesn't have the same nightlife or shopping opportunities as somewhere like Parma, but in a day spent having a coffee in the square, then a walk up the Via Crucis, followed by a swim at Cala Formentor, then dinner at the excellent 365 restaurant at Son Brule, makes for a great day out and you'll see more of the island than your usual holiday maker. Well that's all for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you here next week on cmiorca.com